When something like the arts, values are abstract, but also very important. Why you, you have this blank canvas and what you decide to talk about comes down to what you care about. What's your priority? At the end of the day, I think that can be the most difficult part about art is like figuring out how to say what you want to say, but also how to say it in an effective way. Uh, art school is about feeling, and it's about allowing the student to take risks and to test their own boundaries. What brought me here was the art school within a university. I knew I wanted to study art, and NYU offered sort of this best of both worlds situation where I could, I could go to an art school, but then I could also be a part of a really significant research institution. NYU was just my dream school. I knew that I wanted to be in the city. And yeah, I liked that this program had not only the art requirements, but also the liberal arts requirements, so I could study outside of just art. In reality, artists don't just wake up and go to the studio and make art and then go home. Artists need to meet people, they need to meet um, gallery owners, they need to negotiate, and they need to know how to present themselves. There's a lot of facets of life that requires knowledge in other areas. The thing that's interesting about art um, is that it pulls from every other field. And I think an another thing that's nice about being here is that the, the research status of NYU um, has drawn some people who are working in wider fields, um, both from the research standpoint, from the science standpoint. I could and have taken courses in almost any medium, from video and painting and sculpture, performance, as well as being able to take top courses in philosophy. You have so many great actual working artists teaching here and like in and out of this building. Being here, I had the opportunity to develop a knowledge of art history that is invaluable to me now. It gave me a greater sense of where my work falls in the greater timeline, and my being aware of that, I think becomes a more powerful gesture because I know the history of it. New York City has been a really interesting, wild experience. It's great for the art scene. It's very vibrant, very full of energy. It's sort of an epicenter of not just fine arts, like painting and sculpture, but also like theater. So it's great being here. Students are not just making drawings in their drawing class. They're writing reports on drawing shows that have gone to see at any of the area museums or in the galleries in Chelsea. I can go see a Jeff Koons retrospective that um, people at other art schools have to go on trains for a couple hours to get to. From the minute they get here, there is an, uh, an intention that they become participants in the local community. I think New York City can be great because you do have so many working artists in the city and you can reach out to them. This past semester I worked uh, as an intern um, at a gallery on the Lower East Side. I've been doing internships in Hong Kong, in Florence, and in New York City. I worked at a contemporary art gallery when I was studying abroad in Florence, which is also something really great about NYU, is that it really allowed me to see New York City is actually just a stepping stone and that there's a lot of other places in the world that I can go to and that has a lot of creative potential for me to um, nurture my artistic skills. We used to say that New York was the center of the art world and increasingly that's um, New York is uh, becoming sort of one of the four most important nodes of the art world. That's something that NYU has been really great about the global university concept really dovetails quite specifically with the ambition of the global art world, um, which essentially has been a global economic and cultural entity since the beginning of the 20th century. I think in a lot of ways, the arts have led globalization, um, everything that's good about globalization. Artists bring cultural information and we transmit it and we spread it. We're sort of like pollinators in a lot of ways. And um, we want our students to have that sense of adventure and that sense of, of anything goes and anything is possible. I went to NYU thinking I was going to be an artist. I enjoy drawing, I enjoy painting. So what was really great about the program that I went into, the studio art program, was that 
I was provided a lot of tools, and I think that they gave me the tools to start my own gallery, which is what I did. There are four artists that I represent that I met at NYU, and that was in a large part because of the community that we had. They provided this really great structure for us to collaborate students, to hang out socially, attending exhibitions together, starting exhibitions on our own, providing exhibition spaces for us to create shows. A lot of collaborations grew out of the NYU program. Art is about sharing and sharing your knowledge, being inspired by one another. And what NYU does is it helps build this community. I recently just helped my friend in a photo shoot and now she's helping me with my sculpture project. We learn from each other and that's what's great about NYU. Instead of being like a lone wolf in this huge city and program, with the community, I feel like I have other people on my side. They really push me to do things that I'm good at and things that I want to be good at. It raises the stakes. You get here and you're just like, I want to reach that much higher. I want to go that much further. I want to be that much better. I didn't want to be limited by my school, and NYU really was the, the perfect choice. The program really has created a space that expands beyond the confines of the institution. And the students leave with the notion that there is possibility, a much wider horizon of possibility than they maybe imagined when they started. We ended up leaving this department, you know, like really, really sad about leaving and everything else. And I remember finally saying to someone, I'm not afraid of the future. That's not why I'm sad. I'm sad because I love this place. But I'm really excited for the future, and I'm really confident. That's what this department gave me, is like, I know that I'm capable, and I know that there are opportunities out there for me.